everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. Thanks for joining me today. On today's episode, we're looking at Infinite Color, a really cool panel for Photoshop. I'm going to leave links in the description below in case you're interested in purchasing this panel. I'm not affiliated with this panel in any way, so I just wanted you to know that. I just think it is really cool. It's all about color grading, and it's a really cool panel to help you to, if you're not sure which direction to go with your image or color graded, or you just want a new and exciting look for your image, this panel is awesome and it'll help you get there. So let's take a look at it. It's really cool and very simple to use. We have a create button and this is where all the magic happens right here with this create button. And then we have three different settings of color grading levels, light, medium, and intense. A lot of times you're going to be sticking around with the light, but experiment with the other ones as well. You have a shuffle section and you have an on off section. Now in the on off section, you'll notice you have all of the adjustment layers that are, that are associated with this particular panel. You have curves, color balance, selective color, gradient map and color lookup, which is really neat. All right. And so you can shut these on and off and then you can shuffle them and I'll show you how that works and you'll see this is really nice. So let's start out. I'm going to click this little magical create button right here and watch my image take on a color grade. So I'm just going to click it. Are you ready? Here we go. So there's our first look and that's under light. So it's a, it's a lighter color grading look. Now, every time we click through it, it's going to change. So let's, oh, that's beautiful, right? Let's just go through here and see some different looks. Oh, that's beautiful. That nice magenta in the sky here and some warm tones down below. Really nice. Let's click again. Really nice. That's another good look. Oh, that's beautiful. I really, really enjoy that look. It's so much fun though, right? It's like a kid in a candy store. You can just go and click to your heart's content and find some look that, that's appealing to you. Now, the other nice thing about this panel is you have all these different adjustment layers and you can come in here and change the blend modes, change their opacities. Um, you know, you can mask them in and out, which is really cool. You can turn them on, turn them off, play with them, create. And then I told you about the shuffle uh, section over here. Say for instance, the color balance. Now let's toggle on color balance and see what, how that's affecting this adjustment. See, it's not doing a whole lot, right? It's doing a little bit. So now let's go over to the shuffle button for color balance and give it a click. And every time I do so, it'll alter that effect. See that? Now I'm only altering the effect in color balance and it's subtly changing my picture. So can you see the possibilities here? The infinite possibilities, infinite color, kind of fun. Anyway, that's really nice. And now let's check the medium out. Let's click on medium and hit create and get a new color graded look. A little more intense this time. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I like that. Isn't that fun? Now let's go to intense and see. Oh, that's, that's intense. Now, it's, it's on intense, but that doesn't mean you can't come over here to the infinite group here and take this opacity and pull it back and just add a little bit of that look. So bear that in mind. But let's click through some more here. There's another look. Well, that's kind of nice. Ooh, that's beautiful. But you see, you just keep clicking through and you get some really, really cool looks. Now, say, for instance, I only wanted to do curves. Now I can shut off color balance, selective color, gradient map and color lookup. And now watch, I'll click create and watch my, watch my layers over here change when I hit create. Now we only see the curves layer, right? And see the curves associated with it. Now watch when I click create here, it's only affecting the curves. Isn't that cool? So you can just go through there and get different looks. And then you might say, well, you know what? What would happen if I would add selective color to that? Well, click on selective color to turn it on and now hit create. And now we're going to be running curves and selective color and see what kind of looks we get. So, man, the combinations here are amazing. Boy, that's beautiful. Let's turn the on and off infinite color group here. Click the eyeball on and off so we can see the before and after. I really enjoy that. I think that looks really, really, really cool. Um, some other things you can do, you can stack, stack up these, um, these groups of adjustments here, but to do that, what you need to do is, uh, rename the group infinite color to, uh, some other name. 
So let's just name it any old name you want. I C one. Let's name it. And now if I turn on all of these adjustments and click create, I will add another stack of adjustments above here. So watch. I'll click create and now I have a whole new set of adjustments. I'm in, I am in the intense mode. So I'm going to click on light and let's click on create again and see some different looks. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm going to leave it right there and maybe go up to the group here and just pull it back just a little bit. Yeah, maybe right around there. Let's go down to the very bottom layer and hold the option key on a Mac control key in a PC, give that a click of the eyeball and we can see the before and after. So very nice, right? A nice subtle color grade. But again, and I'm going to do some other videos going into this panel in more depth, how we can make adjustments on these different um, adjustments here. Okay, changing blend modes and altering opacities and so on and so forth. So we'll get in deeper into this, but today it's just an introductory level. So for now, I want to get rid of everything I just did so I can show you what Harmonize is all about. So let's click on infinite color here at the top and come down to where it says curves, hold the shift key and give it a click and then come to the garbage can and give that a click. And that gets rid of all those layers. Nice way of getting rid of all the layers there. So now what I want to do is click this harmonize button. So let's give it a click and I'll explain it to you. Takes it a few seconds here to go through its deal. Okay, so there we go. And what it does in Harmonize is it goes and analyzes your image and it picks out three harmonious colors in highlights, midtones, and shadows. Okay, and it adds solid color uh, adjustment layers to them. Okay, so you notice in the highlights it picked this more um, beige tone, and in the midtones a greener tone, and in the shadows a bluer tone. Now, you're not stuck with these colors that it picks but you can alter those and change those if you'd like. But let's click on the infinite color group here and see the before and after. So there's the before and after. It's a subtle color grading effect, but pretty cool. It's something you may want to just, you know, run on your image at the end of an image just to see if there's a direction you might want to take your image, okay? Kind of nice. So, but say for instance, you're not happy with the tones and the shadows. You can double click the icon right here and you can come to your color picker here, and I'm in the uh, hue mode here, so I'm just gonna drag this uh, slider here up into the reds, move it down through the range here into the greens, and watch the image as I move it. See the image taking different tones? Like I can warm up my shadows here, and then, and then I can come over to this puck here and I can move it around, like give it more saturation there or less saturation, or I could brighten up the shadows a little bit or darken them down. You know, so you have all that range and flexibility and then just click OK when you're happy with it. And then you can come here into the midtones and change those if you'd like to. And the highlights as well. Really cool. But this is neat. What, what it is using here is blend if uh, blending mode options inside of Photoshop here. So pretty cool. And that's how they're getting the highlight, midtones and the shadow harmony colors okay and that's how they're uh, isolating those different ranges of shadows midtones and highlights which is really cool well there it is guys that is the infinite color panel and again i'll have uh links in the description below so in case you want to get it it's really nice i love it and uh, thanks for joining me today i hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it please give it a like share it with your friends and also uh, if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so and click that notification bell so that you can be notified of all the new training videos that I'm putting out on a regular basis. All right, guys. Hey, thanks very much. And I will see you next time.